on guys, still with you today with some more Pokemon Ruby Gender Lock Part 4. On the last part, we made our way here to Rustboro after going through Petalburg Woods, and sadly, we couldn't get another Pokemon. So, make sure to catch that like button if you guys do enjoy this part. So let's get started right now. Now we're gonna go face off against Roxanne. So if you, didn't, you guys didn't see my grinding video, I went ahead and brought Blitzet's level up to level 20, and brought Beansy's level up to level 18, just because you may never know. You can never be too careful. So, let's get started. Rasporo City, Pokemon Gym. Leader, Roxanne. The rock-loving honor student. An honor student, okay. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled. What then? We'll aim for the Pokemon Championships together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. And I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of rock type Pokemon. The rock type is a very durable, but it can it can't stand water type and grass type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Well, but one thing we also we do know is that rock types can't stand fighting type moves. Yes. Roxanne, prepare yourself. So let's go. Don't take us gym, gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Cool. Here we go. Gonna fight against Roxanne. Youngster Josh. Go, Blitzette! Alright guys, now here's the thing. We gotta watch out. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. We can't get too cocky over like the our level just because we have a strong level doesn't mean we'll be we might get destroyed so but it does mean we can pretty much finish her pokemon and all these pokemon easily so let's ho hopefully let's not screw up here because of my because i think that if we lose blitz set this whole lp is just over in my opinion so but who knows, maybe Beansy can pull through for us. Beansy can be uh, vice, cause Beansy could be vice captain, I guess. Come on, double kick. All right. Yeah, pretty much, we're, we're just pretty much gotta spam double kick. And we'll be all, and then we'll keep, we can call it a day. Pretty defeated, youngster Josh. You were too good for me. And let's go. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Oh, believe me. I hope I can beat you. I really do hope. We're faster, but still, you may never know. Let's go. Double kick. Nice. I defeated Youngster Tommy. Wow, you've got some potential. Alright, and here's Gym Leader Roxanne. Just in case, let's go ahead and save. I don't know if this applies to Nuzlocke. You know what? I think if you do lose, even if you do save, I think like, I think it still does count. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a Gym Leader so that I may apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Here we go! Here we go against Jim Lee Roxanne. Jim Lee Roxanne would like to battle. All right, now guys, we're gonna have to be careful, way careful. And I, when I say careful, I mean like careful to the point that even if double kick, yeah, you know what? A critical hit. I think we've got this. I, I don't know why I'm worrying myself. See, gym leaders always have something up their sleeve. They may have, they might have a type disadvantage, but they'll always have. Look. Even though she has a nose pass, guys, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Alright. Yes, we did it. Let's go. We did it. I think she only had two Pokemon. Nice job, Blitzet. He's trying to understand attack. Let's go. No. Yes. Play defeated. Leader Roxanne. So, I lost. 
it seems that I, I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon's rules, Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. Nice. Harina, receive the Stone Badge from Roxanne. The Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use an HM cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. Nice. That TM39 contains Rock Doom. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can only be can be used only once, so think before using it. Well, not in today's current games. So, whoa! What a breathtaking victory! My cheering must have worked! Great! Check your trainer card. The stone badge you got should be in there. In other words, you've climbed up the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's got to feel awesome. So let's check that out. And yes, we did. We got ourselves a stone badge. Nice. Get out. Out of the way. And that's Team Magma over there. Wait, please. Don't take my goods. Let's go ahead and heal up before anything else. You know, we didn't really get a we didn't really get attacked that much. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Magma. I have to get the Devon book goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Alright, let's help this guy. 116. Yes, we get to encounter the Pokemon, guys. Hold on, before we do anything, let me switch out with Be Beansy. I think we're so OP, if we're not careful, we, end we might end up killing a Pokemon that we might need on our team. Let's get this Repel. Nice. So who's it gonna be? Let's see. Who's it? Who is it? A Ninkada. A male Ninkada. Ah. Jeez. Headbutt. That's the one thing that makes this gender lock hard harder. The chance of getting a Pokemon if you want a female Pokemon. Alright. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. They may be tough, but let's see who's tougher. Wurmple. Alright. Come on. Ninkata? Flinch, nice. Alright. Silcoon, no. Man, it would have been nice to find a Pokemon here. I know we can find Skitties, Tailos, uh, Ninkadas, I think Zigzagoon's here also. I lost, I thought I had you. All right, so let's see. Let's switch with Beansy. Let's go back. Whoa! Here we go. Here we go. Go. Run. Ah, oh, man, that's that's what really makes this gender lock a lot harder. The fact that even if you run into a Pokemon. The chances of you actually catching it only depends if it's a male or female, depending on what gender you chose through to catch throughout the game and use. Alright, so let's go ahead and use Double Kick. So it's like, by the time you get to the end of the game, imagine going through all the routes and only encountering male Pokemon, 
which I highly doubt that's possible. So only counting male Pokemon on each route for the first time. No, let's go ahead and use Peck on this Machop. Cool. Nice. I remember when I went against Roxanne and my Sapphire LP, I lost, I think, yeah, I lost the first time, and then I went, grind, grind it up a little bit, then I beat her the second time. So, here we go. Taillow, oh man, it would, still would've been cool. It would've been really cool to add a Taillow to the team. So just wait. Just so they can share. Probably be using switching them each time I'm gonna go against a new trainer. Last Janice would like to battle. Let's go on Maril or Meryl. Beansy, let's go ahead, use headbutt Beansy. Nice. Player defeated last Janus. You're a notch above me. Let's go ahead and switch. There might be items here. Oh man. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead, use double kick. All right, let's go. Let's just use double kick and make call the day. Nice. And if the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Clark, okay. The Geodude. If we took out the Roxanne's Pokemon, we can definitely take this Geodude out. Come on, we're almost to level 22. No. Come on. Nice. Alright, level up. Level 22. Hiker Clark. Gas. Oh. <sighs> Losing made me tired. Right, let's go ahead and switch. Oh, an item. A rare candy. Nice job, Beansy. And let's see. <clears throat> Roar. What's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel is filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that that goon will do something stupid and start all the Pokemon into an uproar. Before we talk to Mr. Briny over there, Let's go ahead and grab ourselves an X special, which I, which I not in a, which I don't really like. And what does Mr. Briny have to say? Oh, what am I to do? We were on a walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off of my darling Pico. Roar, Pico! All right, we'll rescue your Pico, Ooh, Mr. Briny. I love this pretty good so far. Oh, wow. A Whismer. A 
female Wishmer. Should we add this Wishmer to the team? You know what? If we can catch it without killing it, let's go ahead and get add it to the team. Nice. Let's go ahead. Let's go and use ourselves a Pokeball. Nice. Nice. Ooh. So close. Come on. I don't want to play Mr. Wishmer or Miss Wishmer. Ooh. I can't use an Ultra Ball. Yeah. All right. You know what? Let me go ahead and just. Okay. Calm down. Let's use an Ultra Ball. Not a big fan of the other Pokeballs. I feel like if you use the weird thing is that for some Pokemon, especially legendaries, gotcha, which one was caught? Especially some legendaries, if you catch it with a Pokeball, it's better. But chances of catching with the Ultra Ball, I don't know. It doesn't seem to work for me. Whismer, the Whisper Pokemon. Normally, Whismer's voice is very quiet. It is barely audible even if one is paying close attention. However, if this Pokemon senses danger, it starts crying at an ear splitting value. Yes. Let's go ahead and call her. May. Hmm. No. Let's go call ahead and call her. May. Let's go. Mayu. Mayuga. Yeah, Mayuga. That'd be pretty cool. Mayuga. Mayuga. Mayuga, Mayugum. I got it, I got it. Mayugum. Mayugum? Mayugum. I think Mayugum's fine. So now we've added Mayugum to the team. Let's go ahead and heal Mayugum up very fast before anything happens. Let's heal Beansy up as well. Let's talk to this Magma Grunt. What are you, coming? Come and get that some then. Gruh! Key haul it all! This is... The hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway. In this tunnel to nowhere. Hey, you. So you want to battle me? Yes, I do. Poochiena. Let's go, Beansy. Use headbutt. Nice job, Beansy. But you defeated Magma Grunt? Urgh, my career in crime stops to a dead end. This is a this is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. Tch, you want to back that badly? Take it. Obtained it, Evan Goods. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so you are hurting. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate, hesitate to tell me. You can usually, usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. Pico? Alright. Now, hopefully we can't run into a Pokemon. And I jinxed it. Another Whismur. Beansy's done well. I shall now we've added Mayuga to the, Mayugum to the team. Run, run, run. Ah, oh, so close. The only thing you... I Yeah, I'm pretty sure. The only thing you can encounter is just Wishmers. Hmm... 
<laughs> Roar. That goofy goon high tailed it out the tunnel. I can't go I can go back to digging. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. And like I said before, make sure to catch that like button if you guys did enjoy. And if you're a new viewer, make sure to subscribe. So until next time, stealth out.